<laughs> Thanks. Uh, so hi, my name is Andy Millenius, and I'm here to talk about Dapp Hub. Dapp Hub is a uh, blockchain answer engine. I don't know why test is in there. Uh, but before I talk about Dapp Hub, um, I'm going to talk about where we've been for the last year. Um, if you've heard of, heard of us before, you've probably heard of Dapl, which is our uh, command line multi-tool for working with the uh, Ethereum blockchain and other EVM style blockchains. Um, right now it's a very like, uh, it's, it's not very opinionated, but we still think it's a bit monolithic. It's very large. Um, if you've been, if you like follow the updates, we haven't pushed uh, many updates recently and that's because we're in the process of splitting out all of Dapple's um, features into new, smaller, um, uh, applications. So we've already taken Dapple's most popular feature, uh, the native Solidity unit testing, and we've split it out into uh, a Rust-based um, unit test runner that's much faster called Dapple Quick Test. We're going to do the same thing with um, the native Solidity uh, blockchain scripting that we do, and we're going to. So we are going to update the JavaScript package to have ERC-190 support. That's Ethereum package management. We love ERC-190. Um, but then that'll probably be where we feature freeze it. And so from there, like, uh, look out for other applications that we're going to be releasing under the Dapple name. And the next thing that we've been doing is uh, hardening and expanding Dapsys. So Dapsys, the reason that we're sort of shifting focus away from Dapple a little bit is because we are very much a smart contracts shop. We have a lot of generic smart contracts now that are available for developers to use. And so if you, during this hackathon, decide that you want to uh, use smart contracts, we may have like a generic solution for you so you don't have to rewrite code. So there's definitely too much to talk about here, but the one that I do want to highlight is over here on the left. Dapsys is particularly good at uh, access control. And if there's one pattern that I can't recommend enough from Dapsys, it's definitely the DS auth pattern. Any package, or any smart contract that you want to be like owned by an authority, you make it of type DS auth, or you make it inherit from DS auth. Then you can make a DS authority object. We've got like two uh, examples down there, um, and the DS authority object can uh, own these uh, large smart contract systems, and it makes it a lot easier to upgrade them. It makes it very easy to create upgradable systems, which is really, really important. So definitely look into this. Um, and the last thing that we've been up to lately is Dapp Hub Companion. Dapp Hub Companion, as you can see by the little uh, bar in the middle there, is a Chrome developer tool. So it exists in the Chrome developer dashboard. Um, right now, it does, so right now the state that it's at is it's sort of um, ready for pre-alpha internal testing. What that means is if you want to try it out this week at the hackathon, just come and find me and we can get it set up and you can start using it yourself. And so it does three things right now. The first one that it does is it's got a little uh, Web3 sniffer. So you can see calls that are going to MetaMask or to uh, your local node. Um, the next thing that it does, as you can see down here, see these uh, contract names? So what it's doing is it's reading um, either the ERC-190 uh, repo, or sorry, uh, registry that's been set up, or um, when you publish things to the blockchain using Dapple, uh, you push your data to our servers, and it displays um, ABIs and stuff. So it's like a universal smart contracts interface for any website. You can go to any website, open this up, and you can see all of the smart contracts that Web3 is talking to, and you can interact with them, trigger calls, and stuff like that. And so those two things are cool, but probably not enough to be like super productive. It's a little bit more gimmicky. It gets really, really useful when you get to the third feature, which is uh, blockchain forking. What this allows you to do is, at any time, fork the Ethereum blockchain into a private uh, replica and use it against your UI um, from the Chrome developer tools. So you can basically create a fork, test a bunch of transactions. You can also do um, address faking. So you can pretend to be another actor. You can do really fancy things like integration tests, like full feature tests. And so um, the blockchain forking aspect is the one that we're most excited about. And we think it's going to get really, really interesting when we um, incorporate Remix, which is the Ethereum debugger. 
So we're already talking to the Ethereum Foundation right now. They know about Dapp Hub Companion. They like it a lot. They want to support us in getting Remix into it. And so what that will allow you to do is fork the blockchain, run a test transaction, and then step through the solidity line by line, which is something that everybody's been waiting for for forever. So get excited for this. This is coming really soon. It's pretty much ready. Um, and like I said, if you want to try it out this week, then just let me know. So um, Dapp Hub Companion is cool, but we at this, part of what I'm talking about in this speech right now is um, what we're doing at this hackathon. So what we want to do at this hackathon is we want to develop the MVP of Dapp Hub Core, like the, the home base. This is cool as an extension, but we, you need like a website, I think, to go to to do some of these things and a lot more. And so that's what we're going to be working on at this hackathon. And so I'm going to go over a few of the features of what dapphub.com is going to, uh, where it's going to draw from and, and what it's going to do. And so um, the best way to describe it, I think, is uh, the tools that have inspired us and the tools that we want to, um, like, like I said, draw inspiration from when we build uh, dapphub. And so the first one are uh, terminal-style web tools. Uh, the ones that you'll be most familiar with are Rocket Chat and Slack. But it's basically any web tool that is dominated by one um, text input box. And then the user uses like commands, either structured or otherwise, to uh, create effects in the environment. In this case, the environment is a shared social space. But you can do all kinds of crazy things like uh, you know, invite, expand, blah, 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 all those things right there. And um, the idea of all of your interaction with the blockchain being like one, dominated by like one input box in a, in a terminal style, I think can unlock a lot of usability because there's so many different things that you can do with a blockchain. You know, it's just like with a terminal. There's no way that we could create the perfect UI that encompasses every single possible thing you can do. So that's why we want to make like a generic um, experience. And if you look here, like specifically, chat is interesting because. Another thing that inspires us is um, natural language processing. So the idea of like conversationally working with the blockchain is exciting to us as well. This is something that I think Google has pioneered. Google actually, I think Google, part of the reason that they won the search engine wars is because they kind of took a terminal style approach to exploring the web. It's just like an input box, and then you figure out what you want to do, and then boom, there's your answers. And they've taken it a step farther now where it's much more conversational, and it's, and it's uh, Query, it's, it's structured in a way where the query is almost like emergent. You don't really need to know how it works. And so that's something that, while it may not, uh, we may not be able to support it this week during the hackathon, that's something that we want to bring to Dapp Hub. Wolfram Alpha, if you've used Wolfram Alpha, that's a big inspiration for what we're trying to do. We're kind of trying to make Wolfram Alpha for blockchains, you could think, if, if there's any takeaway from this. And another one that is interesting is um, REPL style web tools. So, I'm sure many of you, many of you have used uh, Browser Solidity before. Browser Solidity is awesome. Uh, another one for, uh, for Python is called Jupyter. So we think this is really cool. As soon as you create like a terminal style developer tool, obviously everybody's going to want to know about text editors. So we think that the idea of being able to pop up a very minimal but very rich um, programming environment where you can have like all sorts of cool um, JavaScript tools like loaded in the um, in the context like ETH deploy and ETH JS and Web3 and Dapple's tools as well and all sorts of different things like I, I, we like the idea of being able to just jump right into it in the web experience like if you've ever used Jupyter or I mean it's the same thing with browser solidity you just go from not working to suddenly I'm like programming in this environment instantly and so we think that that could add a lot of accessibility to um, working with decentralized technologies. The next one are uh, data transfer protocols like IPFS and Swarm. Um, I think that that'll, it'll be really cool to explore these networks. And all of the stuff I'm hearing about IPLD is obviously super exciting. Um, that would be really fun to support in, or like to get to during this hackathon. Uh, additionally, uh, application-specific protocols like the Ethereum Package Manager, we are going to go crazy on the Ethereum Package Manager. In fact, like Dapp Hub, the idea is like, I would say over a year and a half old, and it got stalled on the Ethereum package manager. We couldn't like figure out the protocol correctly, and that's sort of what stalled it. But now that it's ready and it's out there, like we are just so excited. I'm serious. 
Um, Ethereum name service, media chain, so like tying together different elements from different networks. But we want you to be able to explore all these in a really, really like uh, rich way. And then last one, sort of tying into using other networks, is uh, something that inspires us. Definitely not going to get into this hackathon, but something that really inspires us and something that we really want to support um, in DAPUB is uh, this idea of automated DevOps orchestrators. So the most famous one is probably Chef. Uh, AWS has a few as well. Um, but the two that inspire us the most are um, SaltStack and Ansible. They take like a, a lot more of a decentralized approach to um, uh, DevOps orchestration. And so something that we want to bring to the blockchain is the idea of, so this is an Ansible playbook right here. It's, it's written in a very declarative style. You sort of say, you know, I want an Apache web server. These are my hosts that I want it on. This is the user that you're going to sign in as. First do that. That's the way that you're going to do it. Then do that. That's the way that you're going to do it. You just kind of state your desired end result. And then Ansible just like SSH is in and does it all. And it does it item potently. So you don't have to like, it doesn't matter how many times you set it to it. It just makes sure that the end state looks like this. And so we. Part of the problem of what makes Ethereum difficult to work with today from uh, the user's perspective, I think, especially um, people that like, are involved in decentralized communities, is that it's very difficult to um, like ramp up uh, usage of traditional web server te technology, like, like traditional web 2.0 technology. Uh, one of DAPHUB's biggest uh, contracts is working with MakerDAO. And the process of managing all of the DevOps stuff that MakerDAO uh, requires is very messy, very disconnected right now. And most importantly, there is no auditability on behalf of the people who are involved in the community. So that's something that we think uh, will be really exciting if we can get like a, a very high quality experience there. So now I'm going to show you a couple of test screenshots. What we're going to be trying to do for this hackathon is create a MVP that targets the use case of MakerDAO because we work with them so closely and we understand their use case really, really well. And most importantly, all of the UI I'm going to show you already exists as Maker websites. So it'll be like a little bit easier to incorporate it into our website. But the experience with DAPHUB, like I said, should be dominated by um, a text input box. You can do anything from this text input box. So to give you an example, if you want the MKR chart from a decentralized market for uh, the revenue and the profit over the last 24 hours, you just type, type, type it in, and then boom, it pops up. You can imagine there's a link to this. You can share it with your friends. You could have it show up on your homepage every time you go. It's sort of like your experience. Another one um, is uh, voting, of course. What is Ethereum if not a voting machine? You know. So we've got uh, a proposal here, the amount that has voted, the amount that is needed to approve, the amount that you have to vote. It's very simple. It's generic. It seems boring. But ev like, the stuff that everybody is going to use is just like super generic like this. You know? So we want to just support everyone's use case at once through this um, answer engine. And then the last one, this is the one that I'm most excited about, is visualizing smart contract systems. So that is a goofy low resolution picture of the MakerDAO smart contract system that is up right now. And so the idea of being able to get a bird's eye view of these smart contract systems and um, seeing like all of the different functions and who can talk to who, all of the, like, the landscape of the authority um, is exciting as well. And so I, we think that that will make it a little bit easier to kind of wrap your head around um, what is going on in these systems. And so, like I said, these are three websites that we already have running for Maker right now. So a lot of what we're going to be doing is um, just building the infrastructure around them and supporting this experience in one unified sort of place. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to be working on this week. If you're interested, um, come say hello to me. Or you can find me on our chat, dapphub.chat. Oh, and I'm going to do a little prototype demo also. So we made like a really um, low-key like, uh, prototype. We're not going to use any of this code because we decided to switch to Elm. Um, so, but I'm going to show you anyway because it kind of gives you the idea. And the, the reason that I'm showing you is that in those pictures, it doesn't really convey, I think, um, what you can do when you pull up like multiple cards. So like this is one, right? Like suppose you put in a hash, you get all the hash information. No surprises there. But then suppose 
Oops. Underneath, I want to create an editor. Now you see it's like, this doesn't go away. This is like what I was saying with like the terminal experience. You know, your history stays there. And so now I've got this little terminal. And it's kind of optimized for coding and stuff. And you can see that like these are two different experiences, but like unified together into one website, just like a terminal. Um, so now I'm done. I can clap.